Those.
trios. First, that a wheel like a mill wheel stands between two trees. Then, that the trees store a substance in their foliage, which they broadcast in installments to the wheel. Then, that this substance lubricates and nourishes the wheel and makes it turn. Then, that two men are walking inside the wheel. Then, that their walking turns it. that its turning forces them to be always walking. Then that the foliage blows green. Then that the nourishment broadcast is envy, that if the wheel had what it wanted, it wouldn't turn and the men would not be walking. Then that even turning slowly, the wheel is emblem of a kind of frenzy. that a space extends to either side of trees and wheel and recedes to a horizon behind them, and that much of this space is peopled. Then that the space advances to constitute a foreground, and that this foreground encompasses a pit. Then that certain people in the space are holding objects. Then that in a space like this one, an object is the attribute of whoever bears it, just as saints in icons bear as attributes the implements which killed them. Then that in a space like this one, even a wheel like a mill wheel has an attribute, the continuous chain of buckets which it drives. Then that when the wheel turns, buckets rise from the pit full of rocks and mud, empty themselves down a chute at the top of the chain, and return down the other side, bottoms up for more. Then that a bucket descending empty is the emblem of residual frenzy. Then that a bucket coming up full is the emblem of potential frenzy. Then that a bucket as it empties is the emblem of actual frenzy.
you made me feel better So take off that sweater and let's shake off our blues